Hello students, how are you all? All are doing fine, I, I hope, by God's grace. See, I am also doing fine by the grace of God. So what did you do all these months, students? Have you enjoyed? So some of you, I think, uh, uh, you tried cooking new items also, right? And some of you tried painting, mehendi, different designs, all those things I think you tried. Okay, but now it's the time to move on for the next academic year that is 2021 students. And I am so happy that I am with you this year also. The whole year I will be there uh, to teach uh, physical chemistry students. So no worries regarding notes, important questions and whatever. So any doubt you can ask me fine okay so and students uh, uh, in order to uh, keep you people connected with me i have done one video on youtube that is photochemistry complete notes i have uploaded uh, if uh, some of you have not uh, watched it yet kindly watch those videos so first uh, uh, to begin with uh, we have uh, dilute solutions and colligative property students after this we have second unit as phase rule and third unit is photochemistry okay after completing these two units we will see what to do with photochemistry okay so ready so to begin with i will give you the topics under dilute solutions and colligative property students this is the heading of the uh, unit and the topics under this uh, chapter first uh, we will be knowing some introduction okay so introduction means i will tell you what a solution is what a dilute solution is what a colligative property is and how many colligative properties are there and all those things we will be learning under introduction okay so moving on or switching on into the uh, lesson first we will start with the colligative property students colligative properties okay so under this we have four colligative property students total how many are there four colligative properties so to begin with number one we will be learning about lowering of vapor pressure okay students what is it lowering of vapor pressure under this i will be teaching you what vapor pressure is Next, what lowering of vapor pressure is? Okay, so next comes after this Raoult's law. Okay, so under this we will be learning determination of molecular weight of a non volatile solute from lowering of vapor pressure okay students so later comes after all this later comes experimental determination experimental determination of lowering of vapor pressure okay by Oswald Walker's method. Okay, so this is W A L K students. This is E R apostrophe S method. Okay, so later comes the numericals. Okay. So, till here will be the first colligative property 
that is lowering of vapor pressure students okay so under which we'll be learning what vapor pressure is what lowering of vapor pressure is next comes determination of molecular weight from lowering of vapor pressure using uh, raoult's law next experimental determination of lowering of vapor pressure by ostwald walker's method and next comes numerical students okay and moving on to the second colligative property second colligative property is elevation in boiling point elevation in boiling point students so under this we will be learning what boiling point is and what elevation in boiling point is okay next determination of molecular weight of a non volatile solute okay from elevation in boiling point okay next comes numerical students okay so i'll help you doing numericals also so don't worry so second one is elevation in boiling point okay under which definitions boiling point elevation in boiling point next determination of molecular weight of a non volatile solute from elevation in boiling point so the last one numericals okay so noted down students right next moving on to the next colligative property third one depression in freezing point okay so under this we will be learning what freezing point is and what depression in freezing point is okay later determination of molecular weight of a non volatile solute from depression in freezing point okay next comes numerical students okay what is it depression in freezing point the third colligative property so under which we will be learning freezing point depression in freezing point definitions next determination of molecular weight of a non volatile solute from depression in freezing point and next comes numericals okay so note down all these under third colligative property okay fine next moving on to the fourth colligative property so write down students fourth one osmosis and osmotic pressure this is the fourth colligative property under which we will be learning the definitions of osmosis diffusion okay next semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane okay next osmotic pressure next comes differences between diffusion differences between diffusion and write down students osmosis okay next topic determination of molecular weight of 
non volatile solute from osmotic pressure okay next okay students write down i will uh, erase this and uh, continue from here so osmosis and osmotic pressure fourth colligative property osmosis diffusion semi permeable membrane osmotic pressure definitions differences between diffusion and osmosis determination of molecular weight of non volatile solute from osmotic pressure next under this only we have experimental determination of osmotic pressure by berkeley hartley method okay next is numerical students b e r k e l e y h a r t e l y apostrophe s this is h a r t e l e y apostrophe s berkeley hartley's method write down that students experimental determination of osmotic pressure by berkeley hartley method okay erase this e berkeley hartley method next is numericals okay at that we have abnormal colligative properties abnormal colligative properties so under this we will be learning van't hoff factor okay so v a n t h o f f van't hoff factor and under this also we will be having numerical students okay so these are all the uh, topics in dilute solutions and colligative properties so we have four colligative properties in this chapter students so in detail we will be learning at the end we have abnormal colligative properties under which we are going to learn van't hoff factor and also numericals as well okay so kindly note down all these topics and so hope to see you soon students and uh, kindly wait for uh, my first class okay so have a good day students thank you